How's it going, fellas? Welcome to another video. Today, I thought I'd check out the latest season of Halo Infinite, otherwise known as the Spirit of Fire operation. Now, the main reason I'm doing this is because, of course, it's Halo Wars themed. And amongst other things, one of the things that you can unlock is Red Team's armor, otherwise known as the Mark IV. This is it here. Looks pretty good, if I do say so myself. It comes with the uh, the gloves, the helmet, the chest piece, all of the things that you need to construct the armor. You can apply coatings. You can put your emblem on the breastplate. All of the good stuff that you can do in Halo Infinite, which I'm not really that au fait with. I've not played a great deal of Halo Infinite. But um, Mark IV's here now. You can enable it, and it's free, which is pretty cool. What isn't free, though, is the Omega Team bundle, which you've seen on the screen here. This is 3,800 credits. I didn't purchase this, but it looks pretty cool. That's obviously a mega team from um, Halo Wars 2. That's Robert, that's August, and the other guy, Leon, the guy with the sword. <laughs> so yeah, looking really cool. And they're all um, customizable cores that you can use on your Mark IV. And then what I did buy was the Stanchion Sniper System. Now this cost me, I think it was 14 pounds or 15 pounds to buy the credits, which I think is a little bit of a rip off, but you can see here, this is the Stanchion Sniper. Looks pretty cool, I guess. I'm not particularly one for cosmetics, which is why I'm not overly excited about these uh, these things. But I thought I'd buy the sniper rifle and give you a little bit of a showcase of it here. And don't make fun of my, uh, my FPS abilities. It's been a while since I've used a, a controller for an FPS. So yeah, that's that. Then, of course, the season comes with a load of other stuff, which is Halo Wars themed, like the Spirit of Fire emblem, a few weapon charms, and a few armor effects, which, I'll be honest, I'm really not that interested in. This is just me flicking through the battle pass here. Overall, probably one of the more interesting seasons I've seen them do. The reception to this seems to be pretty good. And the main reason I'm making this video is to A, show you all of the things, but to B, talk about where this leaves us with Halo Wars 3, because, well, now Halo Wars is in the zeitgeist at 343 and everyone talks about it on Twitter. Does that mean it's likely? I kind of want to generate a bit of a discussion around this because you'll have probably seen my previous upload on Halo Wars 3 where I talk about Creative Assembly potentially working on the game. And to be the bearer of bad news, I've heard along the grapevine that that is not Halo Wars 3. But one of the things that I do cover in that video is where Microsoft and 343 are in talks about covering other games. So not necessarily just a mainline Halo, but perhaps spin-off games, which, you know, obviously could include Halo Wars 3. So does this update sort of reinforce the idea that Halo Wars is potentially in the minds of the people at 343 when it comes to doing a Halo Wars 3 or perhaps not? Um, I suppose time will tell. But I think this is nevertheless an interesting point which we've perhaps not been in since the release of Halo Wars 2 and then the subsequent DLC that came out for it. This is the first time 343 have really acknowledged Halo Wars since its last anniversary when they released that song, which was, you know, getting us all excited at the time, but I guess um, didn't come out to be anything apart from them releasing a song. Such is life. Anyway, let me know what you think of these cosmetics. I wasn't particularly jazzed about them myself, as you can imagine. But uh, yeah, let me know your thoughts and whether or not you think Halo Wars 3 is more likely because of these cosmetics. I'm kind of in two minds. But let me know. I'd be curious. Listen, I run out of footage and I thought, what can I include as a visual aid? And I thought Cat Picks was the best thing. 